I think you're gonna have to use the. Yeah, that's why we have the side cameras, you dingus. Dungus. here. Dylan. Welcome to another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition. Our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And if you ever want to see our detailed breakdown of every single component to our scoring system, consider joining Curiosity Private because you'll get access to those videos. It's only fun. available to members. That's right here through YouTube. Just hit the join button down below. And in this episode, we got a white box. What's in the box? A white box that says Johnny Walker. Classic. It doesn't say Johnny Walker. Johnny John Walker and Sons. Thank you. There you go. Um, look at that. Celebratory Fail. blend. Blended Scotch whiskey inspired by our original Old Highland whiskey. This is their 200th anniversary Exclusive release, 51% alcohol. Woo. I don't even know how to open this. Wow, look at that. It opens just like this. Look at that. Whoa. We got a really pretty Fans out. impressive. Oh my gosh. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to try not to drop it. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it in frame. Nice. Look at that. Great presentation. So cool. Um, I mean, really nice presentation. God, I love the way this bottle looks. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Got to give it to Johnny Walker. Fantastic. This was a marketing. Marketing. Man. Great looking bottle. We got the silver kind of sticker down there with the, the details. We got the white label on that. Oh, wow. Look at that. You got any info for us, Dylan? Yeah, so this is uh, celebrating the special anniversary. Special anniversary. Of special anniversary. Anniversary. Anniversary of the 200 years. Anniversary? Uh, anniversary. Um, 200 years since its founder, uh, John Walker, opened the grocery store in Scotland. Mm. Um, they actually came out with four different, um, I think, celebratory releases. Uh, it was the Johnny Walker Blue Label uh, Legendary 8, Johnny Walker Blue Label 200th Anniversary Limited Edition, uh, the John Walker & Sons Celebratory Blend, and the John Walker & Sons Bicent Bicentenary <laughs> Blend. Wow. Um, English? <laughs> English much? Uh, the, Not much. Uh, the blend was inspired by flavors... And this is the part that's a little strange, okay? They said they've... It, it's inspired... It's inspired... That's a, you know, that's a red flag for me. <laughs> Inspired by flavors found in the stock-taking books from Walker's store, which were housed in Diageo's archive. So it's like... After Diageo bought them, obviously. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, oh, they looked archive. through the stock-taking books, and they, I mean, did they, like, write down the flavor profile, or... What's, uh, what's our price point? So this is uh, $70 to $80. Okay. Uh, I got it for $69.95. All right, let's get tasting. Let's see, let's see, uh, let's see what Diageo did here. Hmm. Very light in color, but good legs. All right, guys, we've had some time to taste. We've had some time to score. We've discussed our scores. We had a great discussion with this one. This was yeah. actually a lot of fun no for punches us to though. talk through. If you want to see that discussion, please join Curiosity Private, as we mentioned. You get to see all that, warts and all. Um, but let's kick off this discussion, our summary discussion, with the good. A lot of good. Mm -hmm. I think overall we really enjoyed this dram. Um, for me, the standout tracks were aroma and flavor. Um, I got hit on the nose with a caramel spiced apple with mm. like drenched in grape juice. I mm. mean, there was a strong fruit component. Obviously there was a nice sweet component. The smoke really to me didn't come out until yeah. the palate. And then yeah. on the palate, I got pretty much everything I got on the nose, plus that smoke, yeah. plus a lot of that earthiness. It really, it just was, 
I didn't get any of the smoke though. <laughs> I, on the palette, yeah. I did it. On the finish, more yeah. on the finish, but it just it really worked for me. These flavors were crisp. They were very clean. They were very direct. They're to me very enjoyable. Jules, what was really good for me was the uniqueness of this offering. I mean, you wouldn't think with Johnny Walker with everything they got in their lineup that they could change it up again yeah. in terms I mean, of not just marketing box. packaging but then also the dram itself because it was actually a unique flavor profile that i was not anticipating from johnny walker or specifically john walker and yeah i mean look at that look at the boxing everything a completely you gotta turn unique. it a little bit though dutch yeah because the, there's there's uh, oh yeah it's on yeah, the yeah, side, it's on the side yeah. too yeah great offering again from them completely unique and i mean again they are the masters of marketing this is marketing 201 because it's a master class <laughs> it is it's upper I'm division you, yeah this is way <laughs> upper division you know and yeah it, it's just great yeah i, I want to touch on the balance but i want to i need to talk about that within the context of like complexity right so i kind of gave this uh an analogy where if you had like 10 different flavors and you're trying to balance all of that it, it, it could be very, very difficult, and it's a lot of work to do it right. Yeah. This didn't have that complexity, but it had kind of, it would focus on that raisin flavor, and it balanced that really well. It focused on what it was trying to do. Right, yeah. which yeah. is, I agree. I, which I is get sweetness, that. which is the raisin, and it was just raisin like forward, no matter how you look at it, but you did get like the hints of the wood, a little bit of the phenol, a little bit of, you know, the, the Johnny Walker, uh, kind of a soft rounded approach to whiskey. And it, it delivered, I it delivered in that. I, I do want to touch on one more thing, which I think we all agreed on, which was the aesthetics. I mean, we showed oh, the box. Yeah. yeah. I just showed the bottle again. I mean, <laughs> despite the fact that it's a screw top. Yeah. This is a crazy <laughs> looking cool. bottle. Right. Yeah. This is right. such a good looking bottle. Yeah. I okay. love it. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about the bad. Not a ton of bad. Um, I, I not perfect. Like, not perfect yeah. at all in any category. But um, to me, the ones that kind of lagged a little bit were finish and drinkability. I mean, the finish to me was just a little. It was a little quick. I was left a little bit more with just the smoke. The 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 raisin thing we talked about in our mm. more detailed discussion was there, um, and, and that kind of made the drinkability a little bit off i mean it, it just it left you with a little bit of a different experience than when you first nose it and sip it and mm -hmm. it was just a little bit off-putting it wasn't bad per se even though we're talking about the quote-unquote bad it just those were weaker for me yeah uh, so for me that's where i would attribute it to the flavor so it had a great opening like the aroma i was teased with all these different things all the the different flavors that dutch had mentioned but then i didn't get it on the palate you know, and there, the raisin, they were there, they're they're there. they were there, but it toned down a lot. And I think the raisin was just so forward that that's where, I mean, it was really, we, I mean, again, I didn't score that low, mm -hmm. 16 out of 20, but that's why. Yeah, I, I'm going to talk about, I, I mentioned this in the good, but you know, this is the complexity score wasn't high. Okay. So this was not a release where I'm going to give you 20 different flavors and I'm oh, going to allow you to yeah. go through this journey of going through all those different, uh, different things. This wasn't that. This was like, it's focused. you know, I'm going to yeah. focus it's on like four focused, or five yeah. things. Yeah. So therefore it's not very complex. However, they balanced it out such so well that the presentation of this raisin forward, sweet Johnny Walker, which is unique amongst its class. Um, you know, they did it right. Yeah. So I think complexity, less score, but you know, the balance was so, really yeah. yeah. Raisinets <laughs> soaked in grape juice. Yep. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. It is. Raisinets, but like man. white grape juice, not the dark yeah. grape yeah. juice. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's <laughs> kick it into value. This okay. isn't even a discussion, man. You convinced us all. I did. Uh, and if you got <laughs> to yeah. see that. You got to see that discussion because <laughs> right. we discussed value. Right. Um, but we didn't I – mean, we all gave it – by the way, we all gave it top marks for value, five so out of five. Yeah. But what would you pay for this? I mean, MSRP right. is 75. I feel like they could have priced this at 100 And easily. I'm glad they did it, though. I'm Which is really why I gave them a perfect offer. It's, it's yeah. perfect at 75. Yeah. I would have paid 100 bucks for this. Yeah, me too. If, if this but was, put a cork in it at 100 If this was <laughs> uh, Glen Morangy – like yeah. oh, the, the Malaga or like oh, the cake or whatever. This is ninety nine ninety nine, right? No doubt. And so uh, for uh, to get this bottle on the shelf, yeah, I'll pay that. 
I'll pay that. With this package, yeah. yeah, I'll pay easily, that. easily. Great, great story. Seventy five. Great centerpiece. It's a great gift. Yeah. Yeah. Great gift. I mean, great holiday great gift. Holiday well. gift. I mean, yeah. Uh, fantastic value. We all agreed on that one. Um, you know, you think about the other Johnny Walkers at the $70 price range, and you're in the 18-year, 15-year mm -hmm. price range, and I really do think this holds up. I Definitely. really do. I really do. Yeah, it if, holds its if own. You like, if you like sweet, um, sweet forward. If you like raisin, raisinets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, raisinets. <laughs> this, is this, is raisinets. Raisinets. this is the bottle. Go. That's yeah. your jam. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get our scores. So we do have a 100 point grading system across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. I'm waiting for the circle to catch up. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And we do weigh flavor at double the value at the 20 points and then aesthetics and value at five each. Whatever and uh, sorry. We do give a medal for those that score above a 60 and up from bronze, silver, gold, diamond. You'd think you'd have a spiel down at I this don't. point. You know, but like, and you're ready to cut me up. It's different so. every time. <laughs> and I never know when you're done. But, yeah. All right, guys. Change uh, it up on you guys. Let's get our scores for Johnny's Walker. John Walker. John Walker's 200th, whatever this is called. 200th uh, celebration. Celebratory blend. Celebratory. All right, whatever. I gave it an 81. Wow. wow. I ended up at a 78. Wow, I gave it an 80. Ooh, is it enough? Side. Is it enough? Ooh, it's it's getting, getting close. <laughs> the official Curiosity Public score for John Walker 200th anniversary, whatever this is, is it called. A gold? Is it a gold? It's a 79. Oh! Oh! It's a very Barely. high silver. Okay. Barely. Uh, for I those of you guys silver. keeping score, it is a 79.6, but we do round down because we wanted to make wow. this the hardest. They got to earn it. This is the hardest spirits competition on the face of the planet. No three but points. I got to say, a very good showing from Johnny Walker. Absolutely. It was close. It's close. Very close to being really? a gold. For a 200 um, celebration? A Not delicious, bad, delicious dram if you like scotch and you like blended scotches, which we actually all do. Yeah. I mean, there's no... There shouldn't be a handicap for a blended scotch because this was a very tasty yeah, dram. It's good. It's good. All right. On that bombshell, Jules, please take us out. <laughs> Tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our podcast and all the major podcast platforms out there. As Dutch mentioned before, consider joining our subscription membership on uh, Curiosity Private. Just hit the join. join button and <laughs> if it shows up, hopefully. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. So curious. <laughs>it's a great gift Better that's what i mean like room. somebody that's a uh yeah he would like love a, that i wouldn't call him a, a casual whiskey drinker but like he likes whiskey yeah this would be a great gift yeah it's love a great it gift. and love they would it. get it and they would think oh my gosh this is like something really special yeah. but it's only Just 75 bucks and they won't know that yeah. and it's really unless tasty. they watch the show <laughs> Or go to the liquor store. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I, I'm yeah, I'm blown away, man. I'm ready to go buy it right now. Yeah. Completely surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we, uh, yeah, we took pick. a crack at this. Definitely good.